up and what is going on YouTube and hello I'm so excited to be here my name is Brandon and I decided to start a vlog so here I am back with another video and today I'm doing something quite a bit different than what I've ever done. I'm going to be doing an unboxing I recently ordered from Aquarium Co-op. Uh, for those of you who don't know, there's a YouTuber, um, Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Um, he's the owner, I believe, and um, he runs a fish store and ships plants and uh, fertilizers, things like that. And I actually ordered quite a little bit from him. Um, he's usually out of stock online a lot of the times when I've checked, so I was pretty happy to get this order. And I'm going to be unboxing it for you guys today, and then I'll probably show you the finished product once I get everything that I've got into my tank, of course, besides the fertilizers, because I can't show you that. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Here is the box. Gonna have to be careful not to. So here is the box from Aquarium Co-op. Um, I ordered this on Sunday and today is Wednesday and it came in and they are uh, actually based in Washington. So for it to get here that quick, I can't complain about that. Everything should be in great shape in here. I just need a knife to open the box. I just so happened to have my handy dandy knife. This is not a tutorial on how to cut. You're not supposed to cut towards yourself. Okay, the first thing I got from them was the Aquarium Co-op Easy Green, which is uh, the all-in-one fertilizer. Uh, it's a liquid fertilizer and it comes with a pump head. That's one of my favorite parts about this. Um, much easier than trying to dose into a cap and figure out which line is which milliliter and so on and so on. So that's really nice. Um, it looks like he tossed in a sticker. That's cool. My puppies are going to be chewing on this stuff if I leave it on there too long. Oh, perfect. So these are the Aquarium Co-op root tabs and you just plop these in your gravel. Well, I'm not going to in this tank because it's for live plants, but in my 10 gallon tank where I have all my plants at, uh, I will be dosing root tabs from now on and basically that just gives the roots uh, below the gravel nutrients and everything they need to grow and grow well. So I got this, I think this, yeah, 20 root tabs in this and I think it's, you dose one tab in every five to six inch in a grid pattern and replace every three or four months. So they definitely will last a long time with 20 root tabs. And I think it was only like nine bucks. And now we're getting to the goodies. So unfortunately you won't be able to get to see too much of this, but this is a bridge and it's actually covered in a live plant um, Christmas moss. So I'll get to show you guys that in just a second. I'll just get everything out for now. This is, I'm not 
not sure which plant this is. I don't know which plant's which. Yeah, so I don't know which plant's which right now because they're covered up. But I will show you guys in that in just a second once I get them unbagged. I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch that. So, but I think that is everything I ordered. I will. Yeah, I got four plants, some fertilizer, and some root taps. It looks like. Oh! That's the heat pack. Okay. <clears throat> nice and warm, so. That is everything in the box. Um. I'll show you guys the plants once I get them unbagged here in just a second. So here is the bridge covered in Christmas moss. I think this looks really nice. Um, and I think it's just a piece of coconut, a coconut shell with some moss on it. But yeah, it looks really cool. And of course I'll show you this once it's in the tank. So this is the next plant that I opened up. It is a water sprite. Uh, it looks like it came in pretty well once I get this planted and in my tank it'll take off. I know it will. Uh, it's a really easy plant to grow. So I forgot I got two of the water sprites there. So um, this is my last plant that I bought and it is a Sorry, we have the special visitor, I guess, but it is actually a floating plant, and it is called, if I can find the name, this is da, 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 Mayaka Fluviatilis. I don't know what that means, but that is what this plant is called and it can be free floating or you can plant it in your gravel um, it's really cool stuff so this here is the finished product after i got everything planted as you can tell i decided to plant these under the gravel i think it makes it look a lot better than just floating but everything looks really good i really love this christmas moss bridge really cool the only complaint i do have is i did find a bladder snail on the christmas moss bridge um i know that's not an issue for a lot of people but i'm not the biggest fan of bladder snails they are a pest snail if they do end up breeding it's okay i can feed them to my puffer but they're a pain to get rid of but yeah, I think this tank looks really, really nice now. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite tanks. Well, you guys, I am just now editing this video and realized I did not record an outro. So that's what I'm going to do now. I just so happen to be wearing the same outfit today. So it kind of looks the same, except I did get a haircut. I'm sure you guys could tell. And um, yeah, so make sure you guys smash that like and subscribe button down below. Uh, I'll show you guys an update of these plants in a few months once they really get time to flourish and get their roots established in the tank. Um, so be looking forward to that video. And I also have a secret behind the camera that you guys can't see that will be in the next video so make sure you stay tuned for that one turn on those post notifications if you want to be notified when i post a new video and i think that is it peace out guys